Do you ever get that feeling like there's some place you're supposed to be? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not delusional. I know this is a wedding dress. It's just that I wanted to dress nice for you all and this is the swankiest outfit I own. <laughs> it's also the most expensive and so far I've only had the opportunity to wear it once. <laughs> I'm just worried that I may have given you the wrong impression though. Fellas, I'm available. <laughs> How many people here are married or in a relationship? Okay, and by another round of applause, how many people here are in love? Okay, thank you. There's no joke. I'm just working on a theory. <laughs> Two times, actually. According to my therapist, I'm what's known as a serial masochist. You can probably tell my, by my outfit that I'm into bondage. <laughs> and you know, people are usually so excited when they find out that someone's getting married, but before I got married, I was advised not to. By my fiance. <laughs> When you first meet someone and you're feeling all happy, just great, thinking about how wonderful this person is, what's that like? <laughs> so I found out from experience that um, the leading cause of divorce is getting married. <laughs> and I think the statistics on divorce are incredibly alarming. I mean, it's something like one third to one half of all marriages end in divorce. I think this means that if you happen to be sitting next to a happily married person right now, turn to them. Take a good look. Then get up and run away. Because they're freaks. There are some advantages to being single. I've noticed it's much cheaper to just look after a diabetic cat than it is to live with an unemployable jackass. Of course, I'm being a bit one-sided. I understand that I'm not easy to live with. Both my exes thought I had major trust issues. I saw it over and over every time I read their journals. <laughs> I come from a really old-fashioned Southern Italian family, and my mother used to say to me, hey, think about this. Nobody ever gonna love you much as your mama love you. <laughs> so now, I don't think it's true love unless he chases me around the kitchen table, threatening to kill me with his shoe. <laughs> She also used to say to me, the way to the heart of the man is with the food through the stomach. And she's right, but you're also going to need a really sharp scalpel. <laughs> As you can probably imagine, divorce is a real blow to your self-esteem, especially if you don't have any. <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to be more confident around men and get in shape at the same time. So I decided to take up pole dancing. <laughs> the only problem is, I don't have a pole in my apartment. So I had to move into the local fire station and now I've been declared a public nuisance. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm their new mascot. I had to do away with the Dalmatian, but it was totally worth the attention. Thank you for your attention, Namaste.